Uh, leader, um, just two matters this morning which has been given some coverage this week. Firstly, the incident at Ashtown with the migrant camp. I'm not going to get into who saw that, who said what here this morning. I think that debate has played out on Twitter between individual journalists and Senator Mullen addressed it here yesterday. The evidence or lack thereof is there for anyone with eyes to see. A broader point coming out of all this is why on earth are we only hearing about this encampment now? Ashtown is in Dublin, be it Dublin 15 or Dublin 7. So we're, we've had at least one shanty town, uh, tent encampment in our capital city for over a year. This tells us one of two things. Either the politicians in these houses who serve that area didn't know it was there, in which case it's a damning indictment of just how out of touch they are with their constituents, or they did know and didn't do anything about it, which is equally damning as it shows how little care they have for their areas. I'm in this house three days a week, and I can tell you I still know if there's a peep out of a mouse in Duleek or any part of East Meath, and a similar in Navan when it comes to Councillor Alan Laws. I urge the public to look very closely at which of their politicians have their ears on the ground, listening to the people and amplifying their voices, and which ones are happy to sit in their ideological ivory towers with their own agendas. Speaking of agendas, uh, the St Patrick's Festival announcement went a bit heavy-handed with the old progressive, yet didn't it? Minister Martin uh, did a good a sense to wear some green, as, it, as did a handful of others. But front and centre were bizarrely women and girls in what appeared to be Spanish-style flamenco dresses. I spotted two cowboys, some girls in an odd sort of beetle costume, like something out of a Marvel movie. And of course, the ever-present uh, men in women's face, who apparently uh, must be included in every public display, lest the government risk the air of terminally online woke Twitter addicts. But it was more than a questionable decision, many feel, to place a young girl of about eight, three feet away from a, man, a man's crotch bulging out of a tiny lace tights and underwear, to take photos showing that, and then say, yep, that's what we want to represent Ireland internationally and run with it. I find myself agreeing with many citizens online who voiced the opinion that maybe instead of the fascistic exposure at our St Patrick's Day parade, we just have St Patrick. It worked very well for the past 400 years. Um, Sharon Kilgan this morning raised um, the Ashtown incident um, and the camp for migrants, and I think that incident over the weekend really, really shines um, a low point in how we treat people in this country. So um, I'm glad that the Gardaí are taking appropriate action. And she also man, uh, spoke about the St. Patrick's Festival announcement. You know, I think the thing that grabbed me the most about the St. Patrick's Festival announcement, and it's lovely to see that we're back to normal and everything is, you know, um, hung -go again, or gung-ho again. 250 quid for a ticket for normal Irish people to sit on the side of the road. I don't know where we've completely lost the run of ourselves, but um, I wrote to the minister yesterday to say, I don't know what that's about, but the tickets should be free and they certainly shouldn't be charged. Sure.